Inner bike. I saw the Bionics banners from afar, and I was like, I got to check this out. And especially because I saw this really interesting clear. I guess it's just a demo, right, of your D series, but it's got neat it. to see the inside. It's so our D series motor with speed holes. I like to say, <laughs> wind through technology. This is sweet, sweet. <laughs> so you don't actually sell this or anything, but it's actually neat to see. Just for fun. You got the plastic casing. I wanted to talk about what's new for 2016, but the D series is still relatively new, and there's a lot it to is. say about it. Can you give me just like a quick well, kind big, of an overview? The big deal about it, Cord, is that we've got a bigger diameter, so that's increased torque. We have 50 newton meters of torque. Yeah. And the great thing about this open motor is that we can see we've got a lot of room for air circulation in there and this cover is actually Ultim. It's a heat resistant thermal plastic. So huh. very effective at dissipating heat. I have yet to hear of a human overheating this motor. Awesome. We, can do, we can do it on a machine but yep, not machines. in real life. And big animals like bears or something. Potentially. If you get huge, huge cargo sure. going on. I, you know, and I, before we skip to anything else, mm -hmm. um, I'm Looking always commenting the on the, yeah. yeah, it's like your spokes don't connect to the hub. And I see a lot of things like the Copenhagen wheel where they go directly to the hub. Yep. And I'm, can tell me what that does. Like, uh, why do you go to the... We, we used to have shorter spokes on our, on our motors, but now with this motor, we've built a more traditional wheel. It yeah. has uh, straight pull spokes, like a little more flexibility, a little bit more comfort, not so stiff of a wheel as we may have had in the past. Okay. And that's more forgiving, you know, if you're really hard on the system, if you're out mountain biking with it or uh, on some tough city streets. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's good to know because you know we're always talking about weight and strength and everything but comfort yeah. is part of it got to keep it plush okay so cool <laughs> so there's the d-series super strong motor but also you know we're on our way up but we got a huge battery pack here how big is this one this one is a 317 watt hour it's actually our smallest battery what yeah we, we do way better than that we have another level of 423 watt hour battery as well as a 555 watt hour battery. okay do they That's have the a similar casing problem. design is that the very similar yeah we're kind of doing a teardrop shape yeah. Uh, they all come with a DC output. On this particular, this is a custom uh, Trek Domani that we uh, have outfitted oh. with various uh, kind of cookies. It's really gone all out, man. Yeah, and uh, it's got uh, multiple light sets going on it. There's actually six different supernova lights running on it right now. Okay. And uh, really bright, really visible if you're riding it on the street. Running seats. right off that main battery pack. Yeah. That's what I love. So, you know, you guys, you sell your products through companies like Ohm, where it's built That's onto correct. the bike. Yep. And you just buy it that way. But you also have kind of this kit Conversion option where kits, you can so. you make your own. Yeah, you can DIY. You can dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do, do dream whatever you all like. the time. And then, yeah, here's the front lights. You've even, so did you, how, what was your role light. in making this thing here? Uh, well, uh, we worked uh, internally and had these uh, 3D printed for us. Really? Uh, oh, a quick, cool. Quick little thing. I, I think the stack light looks really cool. Yeah. You know, very aggressive looking, almost like a motorcycle. Yeah, there's like a fin <laughs> up here, kind of maybe for strength or something. Yeah, just uh, for additional speed. Less, less wind <laughs> resistance. That's awesome. Uh, this bike can actually do 45 kilometers an hour. It's a really fast, fast bike. Yeah. Man. Okay. So, and, uh, now you you mentioned that. Does is that like? Can anyone do that? Like that sounds like an unlock. Not situation. so much. Yeah, we're we're using it You're on just private, teasing people now. Private property. Well, in Europe, you can have a license for that. I oh, suppose. Oh, so we have to we have to test that then. Okay. Course, I see. Internally. I see. Uh, yeah. And it comes with our uh, our DS3 display and RC3 controller. So this so, is definitely new for this 2016. This is brand new. Uh, OEM only for the first little while. We should see upgrades. Uh, in OEM meaning you can't buy that as your own you kit for a while. Not you got to buy a bike. Yeah. What, who are the brands that are going to carry this? Uh, LB is the one in North America, and we're doing uh, Wheeler in Europe. So, so I did bikes. see the LB bike the other day. They gave yeah. me like a little backstage thing. It was pretty nice. I'm, you glad, know? I'm glad you like it. Very well integrated. So the same guy who did the light for the LB uh -huh. uh, has done the light module for this. Uh, oh. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so before you tell me all the all details that. about this, I'm, I'm noticing it looks like it swivels. Yeah. Can I take this off? Absolutely. Feel free. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. And does this power it off the main battery or how does that That's work? That's right. Yeah, there's no additional battery there. Cool. And you can see that the, the bike will run without the display. So we've removed one communication connection. We've just got the single connection, so better reliability with less connections. So are you saying that you can just use the button pad thing? You don't That's need right. you don't need this way? All the intelligence is right here, right by your thumb. You don't have to take your hands off while you're riding anymore. Love it. We had some uh, on our classic systems, we still have the assistance toggle, but now we've added a selection button, uh, What's left that and for? right toggles. Left and right. That will go through your cycle computer functions. So uh, ah. this is a really basic version of the programming right now. 
But not only that, we can access multiple screens as well. So this is our basic screen. We have a more complex screen with extra graphics and a power meter. And we also have a really uh, technical screen with a list of your cycle computer functions, battery state of charge, all on there. Uh, Sweet uh, options, because like sometimes you're like, I want simple and easy and big, and other times you want all the details. So That's, you kind of got both. Yeah, whatever you like, uh, at whatever input you want to, or and feedback you want to get. And maybe, I hope I'm not mixing this up, but the LB bike, it was like ELBY. Yes. And, you know, really cool, like step through kind of thing. Very, just had everything, it seems like. And I think they had a phone on it. So is your system compatible with like smartphone with, apps uh, or something? Future Bionic systems, mm -hmm. we will have bluetooth uh compatibility oh yeah uh, but i can't speak a whole lot about <laughs> okay sorry app development <laughs> okay yeah. i'll keep that to myself <laughs> when it happens you'll be one of the first to know that's for sure well and we've still got the variable speed trigger throttle we, we got, got plus it. and minus for pedal assist and now what's yeah. going on with the lights we've got some led uh there is a light button here we've also got led uh assistance indicator so imagine i didn't have the display <laughs> yeah uh, we can run this all on its own so when we get down into neutral we can see there's a green light when we start to go into regenerative mode Modes, yeah. then uh, it starts to flash the various different levels. You still have like four levels of assist, four levels of regen? Yeah, that remains the same, Beautiful. and the throttle is independent of all that. And is and that a battery? A charge. Battery level charge? Ah, look at charge that. indicator on the other side. We'll still have uh, regenerative braking access all through this uh, this junction right here. Oh, that is that is wonderful. So really nice. how does it know you're braking? Like, how does that work? Well, we'll have a brake switch. It works with a lot of stock uh, brakes. The Tektro brake, Tektro Lever has some. Yeah. yeah, so mm -hmm. that'll all go right in there. And these are, again, really snug connections, uh, very wa weather resistant uh, uh, as far as connections go. I love how minimal it is, because especially when you introduce smartphones or big technology, yep. if and when that ever happens yeah. to smartphones, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's crowded. So it's nice that you just got this minimalist. Everything's right there. Real clean. The brake lever isn't like pushed way out. You aren't compromising your grip with a, a twist throttle. Yeah. You've got a really good there. system. Yeah. And I, I like the LEDs. Is there a way to turn those off or are they on all the time? Uh, they're on until you turn the system. It's nice that they aren't shining in your eyes. Not so right? much. You might have to lean over to, to get the feedback. But... All of this, including the, uh, the screen, this is a color screen as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really visible in sunlight too. That's another big concern that people have switching from LCD to color. And yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's really easy to see. I think I had like a Game Boy Advance years ago and yeah. they were like, it works in the sun. And it was also <laughs> backlit color. So. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that you've, you've adopted this cutting edge technology. Absolutely. Uh, so tell me about that one. Uh, you know, this is all the, the newish stuff. Yep. Is it, this looks like the system I've seen before. It's a D series, we got the big battery in the middle, but it's on the, in, on the Yuba bike. That's correct. So Yuba changed their design a little bit uh, to incorporate the new uh, Bionics D series motor. Hmm. So it's a 10 mil dropout as opposed to 14 mil that they had before. Yeah, let's uh, go they, over there, yeah. For sure. So 10 millimeter, so you're saying that the axle is, is a little bit narrower, but you, you guys use extra super strong Yeah, like we have heat right? treated uh, metal there where okay. uh, they needed an oversized axle. We're considering carrying a lot of weight on something like this. Yeah. But with the Bionics axle, we didn't need a, that extra uh, metal there. I see. Okay, yeah. well, that, you know, I think Yuba has... They got like their spicy curry thing and yep. mid drive, but when you're dealing with, um, you know, someone who's going around the city and you want the regeneration and, and you want that That's silent right. efficiency, one of the concerns is like, well, okay, I, I want, maybe I want a hub motor, you know, there's definitely a different type of ride experience and you got the throttle and stuff that, that those don't, but overheating and like the strength. And so the D series address that. Yeah, we were just we talking about that. all of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And there's a little more finesse. It's a little bit smoother type of ride. And like you said, the whole range anxiety thing is still a real big concern. What happens if the battery dies and yeah. I'm out there? With a bionic system, you always have the option to recharge with your pedaling or it, it happens automatically when you brake. Got some good regeneration features. So I, I really like that. And I like the battery position here. Nice. Um, good weight clean. distribution. This is kind of the standard display I'm used to seeing. Yeah, you got it. And it's great too. It's still removable. And So another thing that we can bring up, we can see that, uh, that this system is in uh, demo mode. So all of our systems are shipped in demo mode. Huh. You have to activate them within 100 kilometers. And when you do so, the end user has the ability to uh, register the system huh. for an additional year warranty. So we've always had two years warranty yeah. standard on all Bionic systems. Going forward now, you can uh, register for an additional yeah, year. Yeah, I'm glad you went into that. Yeah, yeah. warranty is like a big Good deal. Segue. When you're, you know, you're, <laughs> spending, you're spending money, you want something that's tough and gonna last. Absolutely. And your, your systems are pretty modular. So if someone wants an extra battery yeah. or a replacement, 
replacement. They you can, can get order that. a multitude of different batteries if you need. Yeah. Do you usually go through your dealer to do that, or should they go to your website? Like, how does that work? Well, you can contact us through the website, but go to your local dealer, and uh, if they carry Bionics, great, and if they don't, well, we'll set them Let up them for know. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's We're good. What, what's the Bionics website? Uh, www.ridebionics.com. Ridebionics, yeah, I think it was updated, and it looks great. It is. So. Well, thanks for yeah, that. Casey, uh, okay. always fun. Need to see this stuff, and especially like the clear. I mean, that's just... That's rad. I know you can't buy it like that for yourself, but... Maybe someday. We'll see if we can hook you up with one cord. <laughs> These are the electro magnets, and then there's like actual neodymium, like rare earth magnets around the, yeah, the perimeter, exactly right? It. So, And you just have a lot more of them. Instead of like big, heavy ones, you have like narrower, yeah, but more of them. them. And that gives us reduced uh, cogging torque there. So there's less magnetic resistance. Makes for a really smooth motor for, for a rider. One of the great advantages of this system is that uh, it still feels like a normal bike. Yeah, that's that's key because cogging is is one of the issues I'm constantly like showing when I do reviews. Is this one bolted down? Can we pick it up and it spin is. the wheel? Yeah, um, maybe. Try to. Yeah, here. Let's give it a good spin. Yeah, look at that. So that is definitely not spinning. Not going to see a lot of electric bikes be able to go that many spins on. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, that's. That's great. That's yeah. great. It's nice to, to get a little like real time feedback. That's right. uh, again, Bionics, <laughs> great stuff. Thank you for your time, Casey. Thanks, Gordon. Have a good show.